Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I want to talk about power screening, vibra screening, and is it really easier to do that than it is just to screed by hand? So this video is going to show you a real good uh, demonstration of how easy it is to use a power screed versus how it is to hand screed stuff. So if you've never used a power screed or if you're thinking about using one but you're not quite sure, hopefully after watching this video you'll have a, a lot better idea of, of just what you know you might want to do as far as buying one of these or using one of these or renting one of these so what we do is we got a 44 by 26 basement floor here we call this a walkout basement because you can kind of walk right out that front wall now we live in Maine we have 48 inches of frost here in Maine so this foundation goes down into the ground at least four feet so no frost will get under it and move it most of the houses that we do here in Maine have a foundation, something like this. Either a walkout basement or a full basement. And what we got is we got a 15 mil Stego vapor barrier down, plastic. So that'll help keep any moisture that comes up through the ground from going up through the floor and then getting into the house. The concrete mix we're using today, it's a 3000 PSI concrete. It's got fiber mesh for reinforcement. It's got a water reducer in it. So we can pour a fairly loose slump without hurting the strength. I've got other videos on water reducer if you want to check those out. Um, one is how do I pour an 8 inch slump without damaging the concrete. So you can go check that video out if you want. But the first thing we're doing is we're, you know, we're using the conveyor truck. That thing had 9.5 yards on it. And we got it all dumped out. We like to get the first truck dumped right out. And usually that first truck will take off and we'll dump the second truck. But in this case, we're going to use the conveyor on the second truck too because the access really wasn't that great. So what Luke and I did was we struck a pad there by hand. And you can see what screeding like by hand is like. You know, you got to bend over. you got to move the screed around around you. you got to fill in where your feet are. you got to kick that in. Um, it's just quite a bit of effort to screed by hand using just a regular hand screed. Now you can watch me using this power screed. This is the Screed Demon from MBW. This is their new battery operated one. And I got a link for this down in the description guys if you guys want to check this out. But look at the effort I'm putting into this. And what I mean by that is it's very little effort I have to use to screed using this. Um, really the guy the two guys right in Darren and Luca really the ones working the hardest. They're just keeping the concrete just a little bit higher than the screed. They don't want to get it too low, and they don't want to let it build up too high behind that thing. So they like keeping it, you know, about a half inch, three quarters of an inch high behind the screed and just let me pull it back. Now that line I'm pointing to there is the end of the screed. The end of the screed, what I'm looking at is I want to leave a little line when I'm screeding with these on each end. That tells me that I'm nice and flat and level, that I'm scoring on each end. And I'm not leaving a hump, and I'm not digging in, leaving a dip. So that's the line you want to be looking for. And this bay right here, that's a 12-foot board on that screed. So I'm screeding about a 16-foot section here, 12 by 16. And that took me just about a minute and a half, about 90 seconds to screed that. And again, look at the amount of effort I'm putting into it. <laughs> I'm not even breaking a sweat using that thing. So... The power screed really is a simple way to screed concrete, especially if you've never done it before. Um, the thing just floats right on the surface, pretty much. And your job is to pull back on uh, This is another thing. Look how easy it is to bull float after you use that screed. So with about a 6-7 inch slump, you screed it. You run the bull float over it, down and back. And then, bang, that's it. It's bull floated. You move on to the next piece. Now Darren's going to screed here, so it's pretty easy for pretty much anyone just to jump right onto. You can kind of see the line on the left hand part of that screed he's leaving. That's exactly what you want to leave when you use that. And you know how fast or slow you pull that thing backwards is really up to you. It kind of depends on your two rakers, how good they are. You know, you don't want to pull it back so fast that you just vibrate a bunch of concrete under the screed. You want to you want to pretty much let them do the work, and you just screed it back and make sure it's nice and flat and 
you know, let the vibration kind of consolidate the concrete right there. Make it look just like what Darren's making it look like. So we got not that nine and a half yard screeded with uh, mostly using the screed demon here. And, you know, I don't know, we may have a total of four minutes of screed time with this. So that's a pretty easy way to screed concrete. Now I'm going to show you here just in a minute. We're going to hand screed just a little bit so you can see the difference. But right now, let me know down in the comments, do you think this is an easier way to screed? Are you thinking of getting one of these or do you already have one? And if you do have one, what time, what kind do you have? Let me know down in the comments. Um, we have, we, I mean, I've used a bunch of these from all different types of manufacturers. So far right now, I'd have to say this one's my favorite right here. I just, I like the vibra The vibration on this is a little different than a gas powered one. It's a little smoother, a little softer. And the, the whole power screed is definitely quieter. That's for sure. And I just like, it's like a little tighter vibration. So I just feel it gives you a nice, a lot flatter floor using this battery one. Now Luke and I, we're going to screed by hand and get our center pad there. You can see we got to bend over to do that. Then we're going to do this little section in here. Because we kind of needed a 14 foot length right there to do that. So, you know, we got to bend over. Two guys have to bend over, hold the 14 foot screed. And then pull the concrete back as we're screeding it and kicking it at the same time. So there's quite a difference in effort and really manpower when you're screeding by hand like that. Now the, there we are, we're doing it again, see that? Now we've been doing this for years, like I've been doing this for 40 years, so to me this isn't super hard, but if you haven't learned how to do this yet, that's a lot harder to learn right there than that is using the power screed. So, you know, for the cost of the power screed, that thing's going to pay for itself in just a few floors. I think if you're just learning, just get starting out, and you want to get into doing floors, that's probably, you know, one of the most important tools you're going to want to have is right there. So Darren's going to finish that bay out. He's going to pull it down until he gets close enough so he can just turn it like that and then he can reach the pad we magged up against that concrete wall and the part he just screeded right now so he can just turn it and come right down those pads and that's keeping the floor nice and level this second section of floor was another nine yards so this is right around an 18 yard floor four inches thick mostly You can see how easy that is for Darren. I mean, he's. we all have a different pace when we do this. Me, Darren, Luke, even Tia can do this. She's done this before. Um, it's just whatever pace is comfortable for you. Now, Darren's going to be stepping down right there into a thicker section of floor. And you can see how that doesn't bother him screeding at all. Now he's going to step back up out of that thicker section. And he can just keep going and, and not have to stop. So... Again, that makes it pretty easy. Now there's me and Luke doing it by hand again, bent over. Kicking some mud up. You know, we were a little bit low, so we got to stop, kick some up. With one person puddling, it's a little harder to, to puddle behind two guys screeding like that. So again, let me know down in the comments, again, you know, do you think this is easier or not? Are you interested in getting one of these? Um, if you got any questions, ask those down in the comments. We use these this thing almost every day. If, uh, if you want to get it, i got a link for it. Again, down in the comments, check it out. You can order it right from that link when you go to that page if you want. Uh, the MBW Screed Demon, you can, you can, they have a website. You can go check their website out. They're on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. You can check me out at everything about concrete and i'm always posting things on there so that's it guys you know that's it for this one let me know if you think this is easier to screed with or not and we'll see you on the next one